this is Dina Maddie, and we're here at Atomic Athlete. The awesome people of Austin let us use their studio today. I'm going to show you some exercises with some weights. Now, if you guys don't have 10 pound plates, that's totally okay. You can use a phone book, you can use an encyclopedia if you still have those, or whatever, any kind of thick book, 10 pound weight, whatever you got. So, we're going to go ahead and get started in this full body exercise with weights. And the first exercise is going to be a weighted sit up. So, go ahead and get started on your back, knees bent and keep the plate at an arm's length that says keep your arms straight. And using your core, press up and put your head through that window and the weight goes overhead. Back down and then press up one more time. We're gonna do 10 of these. And here we go, eight more. Make sure to breathe, seven. Make sure you're pushing your chest all the way through that window. Give me five more. You can keep your feet on the ground. Three, two, breathe in, and one. Back down on the ground into a bridge pose. Keep those arms locked and butt in the air. Keep your knees squeezed close together and keep your glutes squeezed tight at all times. Bring the plate or whatever you're using in close and press it up. In and press. Keep your elbows in tight to the side. In and press. And make sure the entire time your glutes are engaged. And give me five more right here. Four, three, two, and one. Back down. Up into Russian twist. Just like this regular sit up position with your are about 45 degrees off the ground. Take the plate of the phone book, touch the ground on the left, and touch on the right. Back to the center, that's one. Left, right, center. Left, right, center. Make sure your core is engaged. I don't wanna see any of this. Shoulders hunched. Keep your chest tall. Give me five more. Three, four, three. Two, if you want a challenge, keep those feet up in the air. And one. So we're gonna get up for some lunges. If you wanna hold that close and tight towards your chest, if you want an extra challenge, place it above your head. And lunges, knees go perpendicular, tap the ground lightly. So 90 degrees, make sure your knee of the front foot is not going past your toe. If it's too much of a challenge for you, bring the weight in closer. And we're gonna do three more on each leg. And three, tap lightly, two. And then one, here you go. We're gonna do something that's gonna work on your grip strength. So I want you to take your plate or your phone book or whatever encyclopedia you have and to grip it. And bring it up into a row, so elbows in nice and tight. I don't wanna see shoulders on this. Just a tight little bending your elbow in a row. This is gonna work on your triceps and on your grip strength as well. Give me five more, four, three, two, and one. You need to open that jar of pickles. You got this now. Strong hand, strong, strong hand shake. Here we go. Touch up this. Four, five, all right. Three, give me two more. Two, and one. Back down, we're gonna do the circuit. One more time. All right guys, now rest and transition straight into that second set of weighted sit-ups. Here we go. Arms locked out. And exhale, bring your arm all the way up and bring your head through that window, chest all the way up and lifted. And can you give me five more right here? Five. Use the weight to propel yourself forward. Use that momentum. And two, and one. Back 
all the way down to that bridge press. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground and your glutes are lifted. Squeeze those glutes in tight. Keep your knees close together and press. We're gonna work on those chest muscles right now. A little bit of shoulders. Keep your elbows in nice and tight. None of this. Make sure your elbows are in tight. And give me five more. Four, three. Squeeze your glutes a little bit higher. And one. Back down. Two Russian twists. See if you can give me 10 all the way. If you want a little extra challenge, go ahead and lift your heels or keep them on the ground for more support. Just making sure your chest is all the way lifted. And give me five, four, three. Chest lifted and one. Straight into jumping or those lunges. Don't worry, they're not jumping lunges. That would be cruel. All right. Down, knee touches the ground, and back up. Shoulders locked, elbows locked with the weight above your head. Or you can also keep it close and tight to the chest. And see if you can give me, give me three more for each side. I know you got a little bit more in you. And two. Last one, here we go. Knee touches the ground, make sure you're knee doesn't go parallel past the toe and those one arm rows working on that grip strength elbow nice back and tight all we need is five more on this side match it out with the rest on the other side two and one you're done with your little workout give me ten more if you're sweating by now go ahead and like my video and share it with your friends do it a couple times a week. All full body strength, a little bit of cardio. Give me two and one. All right, great job, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of stretching. So left foot forward and right knee down. Go ahead and take that right knee a little bit further back. And make sure that your left knee's not going past your toe. And go ahead and stretch into that hip. Stretching out that quad. And then straighten your leg and stretch out your hamstring. Make sure that your chest is reaching towards your toe. You guys did a great job today. Switch legs, right leg in front. Make sure to take that knee a little bit further back. And then get a nice quad stretch. Open up that hip. Great job today, guys. And lean back and stretch out your hamstring. I'm gonna show you a couple foam rolling exercises. If you have one, great, get it. If not, you can have a roller for bread, you can use that too, or a little PVC pipe, it's four to six inches. We're gonna roll out the quads really quick. All you have to do is take it and roll back and forth. Like you're rolling out dough. If you even have a dough roller, you can use that too. But this is a nice way to break up those adhesions when you start working out and help with your mobility as well. Also brings your heart rate down. It's a great and effective way to cool down. <laughs> 